G'day guys, so no, it's been a few weeks since I've done a video, but I've been absolutely flat out at work and haven't had a chance to get down here. So, decided to go through some of the locks that Paul sent in and grabbed out this one, which is number 10 of his. It's called Southern Pride by Crank or Paul. Um, Southern Pride because it's got Southern Cross on the key. So, works beautifully. Um, some pretty good bidding on it. So we've got high cuts, low cut, and then medium cuts at the back here. Not quite as high as the front, but about medium. So, let's see if I can get this thing picked. Can't get a full turn because the actuator is catching on the rubber. That should work. Um, let's have a look. I know I broke my last short hook, so I'm going to have to order some more. But I'm hoping I'll be able to get it picked with this one. Slightly higher reach. And just for shits and giggles, because I'm probably going to stuff it up. Because... Um, I'm left-handed. Um, Leon's Lockpad is doing that competition. Vice versa. So if you left-handed, you got to pick right-handed. Mm, I can't do shit with my right hand. <laughs> um, as I like to call it, I'm spasticated in that hand. I can't write. I can't do anything. So just for shits and giggles. Let's have a go. See if I can <laughs> try and pick this bloody lock right handed. Alright, um, let's zoom in a bit so you can see what's going on. And watch me fail miserably. Um, if I do fail, I might just hope that this one is a stupid video. Um, don't even know how to bloody hold this thing. Um, and then I'll have to upload a proper one another time. But I am planning on doing a new video, um, hopefully tomorrow, of me being absolutely bored and destroying some really cheap Chinese locks that I've got here, um, sitting on the back wall here. Just, I don't have anything cool to destroy the locks with. Like guns or anything like that. I've just got to click out of what I think is pin two. I don't know, I can't tell. I'll try and pick right handed. Um, but I'll try and find some cool ways of destroying this, these locks and yeah, just be like a little montage of me hitting them with bloody wood splitters and shit like that. So. Might be a bit funny to watch. Might even get the um, blowtorch out and set fire to the buggers. Alright, I really have no idea what pin I'm on or how I'm going. Um, let's go for a reset. Let's try picking it towards me instead. I can't even hold these bloody right handed it's been like a 20 minute video of me just failing miserably Probably not a good idea to try and do this with a challenge lock either.
or after a couple of bottles of water, glasses of wine. All right, there's a good click then, but no movement on the core. Alright, as you can see, I'm terrible at this. Should have just <laughs> should have cheated and um, picked this left-handed and just put the video into mirror mode, so it looks like I'm picking it right-handed. Damn it! Why did I think of that earlier? Jeez, I really can't hold this pick properly. But I'll try and get a few more videos done over the next few, um, over the next couple of weeks. Because uh, heading over to Adelaide for a holiday for a weekend with the family um, at the end of the month. And um, so I won't be uploading any videos then, but... I'm hoping to have a look around over in Adelaide, try and find some locks that can't get over here where I am um, and see what's around. So, could only hope. All right, I'm going to switch picks for a minute. Let's try this one. So, I can pick from the bottom. Okay, I think I'm just bending this. Even if I fail with this, this isn't going as a whipped by because I'm picking right handed. Oh, just got a fault set then.
And I think I'll just bend that out flatter. Try and bend that back a bit. It's my homemade pick. I'm going to switch back. Can't even. Geez, my right hand is sophisticated. Can't work out how to bloody grip this pick properly. After 11 minutes of me struggling. Probably gonna end up breaking me pick. If I do, I'll be screwed because this is one of my last hooks. I have to order some more. So if I do manage to get this picked and gutted. This will be my entry for Leon's lock pads, vice versa. Which is, I think is actually a pretty cool little challenge. Um, so, awesome. With my brother there over in England, the UK, coming up with cool ideas for a giveaway. I know he's got one for the UK area only, um, which is destroying a lock, or not destroying, but getting into a lock in, in a destructive method without um, using bolt cutters or hacksaw, I think it is, or um, drilling or something like that. But one for pretty much anywhere that's legal to send lock picking stuff. Um, He's got this vice versa challenge. I'm on a fault set, but I just can't see which pin it is that's stuck. Mind you, I don't know what pin I'm on, so I'm thinking that's about three. But We've stuck on, I think, either a spool, but I don't know which one, or a, like a T pin element. Um, not a very deep fault set, but it's enough. Okay, I think it's the last pin on. Need to get under. Might just have to go back to this one.
think it's pin 3 I'm stuck on. I just... Okay, I'm straightening out my pick a bit. It's just me clipping that boarding. Come on. Whoa, well, I don't even see how I've bent the crap out of my bloody pick. This is only a crappy homemade one, but... Right, I'm thinking it's one at the back, and I don't know if I'll be able to... I think it might be one of those high cut ones, but I'm not sure. Jeez, 17 minutes. I might have to fast forward a bit of this. Come on, which one am I stuck on? Just get under it. I'm going to break my pick. It's definitely stuck on it. Hey, got it. Yes, not such a big stuff up being left handed. <laughs> Pick with me. Opposite. Whoa, wrong way. Jeez, wrong hand. But definitely, definitely got an open. Whew. Didn't think I was ever going to get there. Keep that in frame. I gotta try. I think I've got to try and gut this right hand. So, um, this video may get worse. Just a friendly warning. Okay, so definitely an open. So lock that up since we've got P and I'll grab the beast down. I did read a comment, I think it was the other week, uh, someone commented, someone should print me, uh, 3D print me a bigger one, a bigger pitting tray, this one's a bit small, um, I'd like to see that, <laughs> but anyway, alright, tweezers, that I need, that, and I'll probably shim it just to be on the safe side, and a follower. Uh, first of all, just keep this in the spirit of it, and just in case I stuff it up and make this one hilarious video, I'm going to try and do everything right handed.
this will be helpful. Should work. Let's get the shim just be on the safe side. Uh, actually, it might be all right without a shim, I think. So it is six pin call, but only five pins. So I got five pins in there, but it is six pin call. Um, as promised, I will do this right handed just so you can watch me stuff it up. All right, chamber one, got a standard two. Standard three. Three is a spool. Home mode spool. Four has got like a serration to it. And five is standard. And absolutely no modifications to the core at all. Just turn this one the right way. Right. Here comes the fun part. Chamber one, we have a standard and come on. There we are. Short fat little brass spring. Chamber two. Another standard and same spring. Three is just, just my camera will focus on it. Come on, just barely breaking that shear line. Um, Who's facing like that? It's almost like a little chest piece. Um, kind of like a pawn. And another little brass spring. Alright. Keep forgetting I'm doing this right handed. Got another one that did pop out, but now it's just barely breaking the shear line. Another standard and lucky last. Let's go the other way just to be on the safe side. Six and five. Five just breaks the shear line. Can't grip it. All right, uh, let's watch how this comes out. Face 
it's that way. It's like a serrated with like a slightly T-pin element to it. We'll have a closer look in a minute. Um, spring and five is exactly the same. And then Bucky Blast. Exactly the same. So all the same springs. And this is a sealed Bible, but you know, absolutely no modifications to the Bible either. Let's have a close look at these pins since I'm at 25 minutes. Jeez. One of the longest videos I've ever done. That's better. Alright. So, chamber one, we've got standard and the standard. All the, spring, the springs are the same. Chamber two is the standard and standard. Three is a spool with that like a little palm shape piece up the top there. It's like a spool, but it's rounded, almost like a key pin on the end. Uh, chamber four, we have one serration in the key pin and a standard driver. And then in lucky last, we have a standard and looks like serration with kind of like a T-pin element right on the tip there as you can see um, almost like double serration on it but trying to pick this right handed as you can see was uh, whoop, quite difficult especially when I can't do anything right handed so anyway better quickly wrap this up so as always always follow the codes Pip Locks Bolt Oil, you know, don't do anything stupid. Uh, please don't forget to subscribe. Appreciate all my subscribers. Thank you very much for that. Uh, it is greatly appreciated. Uh, don't forget to check us out on Instagram now. We put up all, or well, I put up um, stuff that's going on, photos of the locks I'm doing, all that. You know, jazz. Uh, don't forget to come and join us on Discord as well. Um, if you want to come and check out Discord, it's for lock pickers and lock sporters. Um, just send us an email at darkartslockpicking at gmail.com and I will send you a link so you can come and join us on Discord. And yeah, also on Facebook, don't forget to come and check out our Facebook page, Dark Arts Lock Picking. And as I said, if you want to get in contact with me, you can contact me through the email or through the Facebook page or Instagram. Or Discord. So, plenty of ways to get in contact. So, until next time, cheers, guys.